Hello, it's Sole here. I want to make some cotton candies. I have actually already made some more because my cotton candy stash was going very low because I've been sending them out. I had a tub full of it before, but I've sent them out through Christmas and a um, little bit from early January as well. And I've only got these little ones left. So I want to fill the tub again so I have enough ready when I want to send them out. Now these cotton candies are very easy to make. The only thing that you really need to be careful of is to not burn your fingers. So you need to just make sure you are aware where you're putting the glue on the straw. I will be showing you guys how to do it. The supplies that you will need are like little pom-poms, if you wanna make a little cotton candy like this. A medium-sized pom-pom, if you wanna make a medium-sized cotton candy like this one. Um, you can also need different types of paper straw or any color really. It doesn't have to have star pattern, it can be stripes, it can be metallic, it can be iridescent one like this. It's entirely up to you. There is no wrong or right way of doing this. It's just I am going to show you how I do it. There has been other tutorial available, I'm pretty sure, because I have seen some photos on Instagram with people using these to make memory decks cards and things. But I wanted to make the cotton candy this way because I think these look more fluffier and they look more real to me. So I like it like this and I will share how I make these to make it look nice and fluffy. So you can make them in many different sizes as you can see. If you decide to not chop the paper straws, you can make much bigger size cotton candy if you wanted to and package it in clear bag and toss some sequins in there or pretty like glitter, sprinkle some glitter in there and it's just gonna look really nice and magical. So the pom little pom-poms I got from Daiso shop I believe you can buy these anywhere in craft stores. I have also used, this is a crafter's choice unicorn hair I found at Spotlight. And this came with these four different colors. I found this recently. Originally, I had this unicorn wool hair that I bought from Kmart here in Australia and it only had these two colors. So I was hoping to find some more different pastel colors and when I went to Spotlight recently, they had the unicorn hair in many different shades. So I'm just going to move these to the side and then I will show you how I made them. You don't have to add sprinkles and little circle balls like this if you don't want to. You can keep it plain, but I decided to add some so it looks a bit different. You can also use like tiny ones as well. It's very pretty and yummy, delicious looking. So I will show you how I did it. So first of all, you need to chop the paper straws to the right size. I will start off with the bigger the medium size one and I'm going to attach this medium size pom-pom so you get your glue gun and then you attach some put some glue at the end like this and you stick it on there like this make sure you hold it for a couple seconds like this so it's on there nicely Next, you need to decide what color unicorn wool or cotton wool you're going to use. So for this one, I have grabbed some, I'm gonna move all my pom-poms because it's gonna stick to the wool. I have decided to use two shades of pink. Oh, it's sticking to me everywhere. So I have grabbed about this much. Now, what you need to do, if you want to use two different shades of color, you put them side by side, but you also lightly twist it like this. Lightly, not tight, lightly. Just lightly so that the colors sort of blend into each other, like this, okay? Then you grab your straw, but you hold the bottom of the straw. You start to glue from the middle of the straw. So you just put a little bit there, just a little bit. 
Then you grab the end and then you just put it on there. Remember not to burn. So you just go around shaping it. Okay, you want the bottom to be more wider than the top, of course. So you sort of like, you just sort of guess. But don't, don't make it really tight. You need to do it loose to create that nice fluffy look. So you can see that, see it forming already. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue some more, a little bit more there. Then I'm gonna go around and then place it there lightly and just hold it like that. Then you turn it around and you're gonna do more glue. Okay, more glue on this area here. Then you twist some more on it like this. So you've got it starting to form. And then a bit more glue on the straw. You are gonna get some unicorn hair on your glue gun, but when it cools down, you can pull it off. So lightly touch it so you're not pushing onto it, just lightly. So we still have more straw bits showing, so more glue. And then, and then towards the top, you're going to sort of make it a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter, but not too tight. And so now what you need to do to the top bit is to just make sure that it is on there. But if you feel like it's not on there, you can add more glue to the top. So I'm thinking the top is a bit loose for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it down a bit like this. I'm gonna put some glue to the top, just not too much, just a little bit. And then just blow a couple, just blow a little bit to the top so that the glue's not too hot to handle. And you just push it down like this, okay? Then you just have to make sure that the shape, you're happy with the shape. So making sure that the bottom bit is the widest bit and then the top bit is the more pointier bit, okay? So just go around with your finger like this to make it. And then bottom, with the bottom bit, what I do is I push it up a bit, like that. And then I look at it, and then I just sort of make sure that the bottom is nice and wide a bit. And that everything is right. Okay. So that's how I make my cotton candy. So I am going to now show you how I do medium size one. So this is the paper straw I cut in thirds. So I am going to choose a pom-pom, which I'm gonna go with this iridescent one. So I will just glue the bottom and then attach the pom-pom to the bottom of the straw like that. And now it's time to grab the unicorn hair. This time I will go with a bit of white and a little bit of pink. So I'm gonna put it together like this. Maybe just a little more pink. I don't want the pink to be too dominant, so I'm just putting a little bit. I want it to be more white, cotton candy. So like this, and remember you have to twist it a bit so you can just do this. Don't do it, you don't have to do it tight, just like lightly, so that the colors sort of blend into each other. This. So we have this ready now. So I'm thinking this could be a bit too much, so I'm just gonna quickly measure. Oh yeah, that's all right. So it's a bit less than what I had before for this one, this size. Okay, so you always grab the bottom so that you're not burning your hand, start from the middle. Just dab a little bit, place it on there, like this. More glue, and then go around, nice and light. Just sort of, you just place your thumb there lightly to sort of hold it. And then you go around again. You seeing this? So you go around again. 
and then you lightly push it down and then you need to glue some more there I wish I had a cordless glue gun this is like sometimes a bit annoying because like you gotta watch out for the cord so you just push it down lightly I have a little bit left so I'm just going to use my fingers and place it now the bottom you just have to lift it up a bit lift it up lightly and make sure that the top is a bit more pointier than the the bottom area and there you have your cotton candy now if you don't like the shape just fiddle with it lightly just pull it a little bit this way that way and then you'll get the right shape okay and if you have a little bit like with this one I, I can see some sticking out so then you get your glue gun just put tiny dot there and then just just cover it like this with the bottom bit that's sticking out then here you have your little mini cotton candy so now I just want to show you guys so this is the packaging material that was in one of my friend mail from Bethy, um, Bethy's Boutique Studio. And I kept everything because I love these little tiny gold balls. I believe you guys um, can also buy the silver one. And that was the one I used for this one. Also the bottom, this iridescent ball is also a packaging material, I believe. And these were sent to me by Pucci. And I have... I have a cute bag load of it and I have made use of using that so you guys can find this easily I'm pretty sure in craft shop so you can decide to add these if you want or you can also use like thin fine tip glue and then like lightly go around it and swirl and then sprinkle glitter on top and then it'll look more iridescent more yummy looking magical looking so you got that size you can do that size you can do way bigger you can use like tiny pom-poms at the bottom also add little tiny foam balls on here like this and those are these ones I found this at a craft store here and what I've used to attach these one is I just held some in my fingertip and then I just put tiny dot of glue and then I just placed it on there so there's that one, there's that one, there's a yummy one here, another yummy one using mint color straw, and some little lavender ones, and this one is using the gold ball at the bottom, another one with the iridescent straw, and a pink pom-pom. So that's my, there's my cotton candy tutorial. Thank you so much for those of you who have asked me to do this. Um, I'm glad I could have, I could be of some help. I hope you can make some of these and enjoy making them. And also have a look at um, Instagram page as well. Like there's lots of other people that have made cotton candy, but I just like making mine more fluffier like this because it looks more real. Thanks for watching. Bye.